Okay. So, uh, I think I fixed the audio. Hopefully, anyways. What I'm doing basically is, is uh, I'm recording the audio on an old cell phone, and then I'm recording the video on my little camera. Pretty nifty, if you ask me. So yeah, sorry. Uh, hello. This is Bing and Jet does cars, and today we're gonna install an aftermarket wastegate actuator on my Chevy 1.4 liter Ecotec. So, I got this uh, this new wastegate for the Sonic from, uh, from my new buddy Drew out in Arizona. Cool guy. So basically, the way this works is uh, with an adjustable wastegate actuator like this, you've got all these different springs. So now the Sonic has uh, electronic boost control. And so when it comes to electronic boost control, the way you want to look at it is not necessarily the spring is the boost that you're trying to run because the way electronic boost control works is there is a, a solenoid essentially that controls the, the vacuum signal from the manifold to the wastegate. To control the signal between the manifold and the wastegate, the electronic boost controller can only control the boost down to a certain point. Uh, so basically, the uh, the yellow spring is going to work the best. That is the 12 psi spring. So uh, I'm pretty sure the yellow spring's in here from him because it's the only one that I'm missing. I've got green, gray, black, blue, and orange. Yellow, one, I don't have. So I'm currently typically maxing out about 23 to 24. So 12 would be perfect for that. So that. Basically, if the, if the boot controller is sending 100% of the signal, I'm going to get 12 PSI of boost max, essentially. Well, probably 13 or 14 max on wastegate. Uh, so I'm going to pop this thing open, we're going to clean it out, make sure it's the yellow spring, and then we'll throw it on the car. So, uh, yeah.
got the um, wastegate all set up. We, you know, figured out what springs in it. We need to put it in the car, obviously. We have to tear this old one out, and it can be kind of tricky to get in there. I've got a few tricks I'll show. Um, um, yeah, let's just get started, and I'll show you what I mean. So basically, in order to get this thing off, you got to take the heat shield off from the turbo. And it's still a little bit warm, so you want to let your car cool down quite a bit. You know, there is a symbol here that shows a hand with the big X in it. I'm pretty sure what that means is that you don't want to put your hand on this. Uh, I could be wrong, but uh, I think that's pretty self-explanatory. So, uh, just like the valve cover and everywhere else in the car, pretty much, we got some E10 torques. But there is a tricky one to get to. This little guy right there. It's pretty much impossible to get one of these big E10 torques to fit in there. So a 5 16 wrench will fit on these. I wouldn't attempt this on something like the valve cover or whatever, but I've actually uh, used a 5 16 socket to torque one one or two of the bolts on the water pump there because it was too hard I couldn't get this this big old socket to fit so I was able to use like a 5 16 you know that's you know this big it'll round those over pretty easy if you're not careful I'm sure well, that guy had worked himself loose look at that Get it set up so that uh, basically just twist or untwist the end of the actuating rod here until it meets up with this flapper when this is all the way closed. So you just pull that all the way closed and unscrew it until it slides on there without any force. So now I need to set the preload. See, I'm just going to loosen this nut so that I have some room to turn it. And I'm gonna try. There's one full turn, or one half turn, one full turn, and then one more half turn, and then I'm gonna check it and see where we're at. There's one more half turn. It appears that as far as I can go, it doesn't seem right. But I guess we'll stick with that for now. So <laughs> maybe it was only designed to be, you know, preloaded as much as it is right now. So what we're gonna do then, we're gonna tighten this bolt up against it. It can't work itself loose. Now, I'm going to take 
this little mamma jamma is like a circlip, I guess is what you call it. And that's gonna slide over. This guy. Cool. Now, my new wastegate is installed. And uh, I just gotta hook up the vacuum line, put the heat shield back together, and uh, we'll give it a start. <laughs> 